it's great to come back to Montreal. Always uh, emotions when I come here, even though I've been a couple of times since the games. An extraordinarily composed young lady of 14. Everything that's happening today with me and, and my life, it's because of that moment. 10 she's got. She's got another 10. Nadia Comaneci, the ideal of gymnastic perfection, reveals a heartfelt story. Prepare to be moved by her difficult journey as an athlete and the dark secret she has kept hidden for decades. This new revelation is challenging the triumphant narrative with a story that adds depth to her incredible legacy. Prepare for an emotional ride as we reveal the unknown, devastating side of the gymnastics sensation we thought we knew. Early Life Nadia Elena Komaneshi, a name that rings true in the world of gymnastics, was born on November 12, 1961, in the picturesque village of Onesti, hidden in the Carpathian Mountains of Bacau County, Romania. Her ancestors hailed from western Moldavia. Nadia was born to Gheorg and Stefania Komaneci, and has a younger brother named Adrian. Nadia's family saw upheavals as her parents separated in the 1970s. Her father, Gheorg, finally went to Romania's bustling metropolis, Bucharest. Despite the difficulties of family dynamics, Nadia and her brother Adrian found solace and footing in the Romanian Orthodox Church. In a remarkable interview from 2011, Nadia's mother revealed the rationale for enrolling her in gymnastics classes. She explained that as a child, Nadia was a ball of energy who was constantly on the move, which made it difficult for her parents to manage. What's the solution? Gymnastics a sport that would channel Nadia's limitless energy while also paving the way for her incredible career in the realm of athletics. Nadia's gymnastics career was nothing short of spectacular. Her devotion and hard work helped her reach the summit of the sport. After years of intensive training and top-level sports events, Nadia reached a key academic goal. She graduated from Bucharest's Politanica University with a degree in sports education. This certificate not only demonstrated her scholastic prowess, but also allowed her to share her abundance of knowledge as a gymnastics coach. As we go into Nadia Comaneci's story, we must acknowledge the significance of her gymnastics feats. Nadia was more than just a gymnast. She was a trailblazer, an example of greatness, and an inspiration to young athletes all around the world. The routines she executed on the gymnastics floor were more than simply flips and twists. They were defying gravity and setting new standards for excellence. Gymnastics Career Nadia Comaneci's gymnastics career began in her early youth. At the age of six, she was twirling and cartwheeling in the schoolyard with a friend. Little did she know that this lighthearted pastime would attract the attention of a coach who would profoundly impact her life. Bella Caroli, a well-known gymnastics coach, noted Nadia's quick movements during playtime. Caroli, intrigued by the potential he saw, set out on a journey to track down these promising gymnasts. As playtime ended, the girls dashed inside, and Caroli went from classroom to classroom, looking for them. Eventually, he came across Nadia Comaneci, a little girl with a spark that would soon fire the gymnastic world. Interestingly, the second girl, Viorica Dumitru, chose a different path and became one of Romania's finest ballerinas. Nadia began her training with Bella Caroli when she was seven years old, in 1968, becoming one of the first students at his experimental gymnastics school in Onesti. Unlike many of her contemporaries, Nadia was able to live at home during her early training years, although most other students boarded at school. Nadia's incredible journey reached new heights in 1970, when, at the age of nine, she became the youngest gymnast to win the Romanian Nationals. Her skill continued to blossom, and in 1971, she made her international debut by winning her first all-around title and helping Romania win gold in a dual junior meet with Yugoslavia. Nadia Comaneci rose to prominence as a young gymnast in a variety of national and international contests over the years. In 1973, at the age of 11, she won the all-around gold medal, as well as the vault and uneven bars crowns, at the Juvenile Friendship Tournament, a major international event for juvenile gymnasts. Nadia Comaneci, however, did not actually become a household name in the gymnastics world until 1975, when she was 13. 
1975 European Women's Artistic Gymnastics Championships in Skien, Norway, provided the venue for her near-perfect performance. She won the all-around title and dominated every event except the floor exercise when she finished second. Her success that year extended to a variety of tournaments, including the Champions All competition and the Romanian National Championships, where she won first place in several categories. American Cup On March 1976, the gymnastics world witnessed a watershed moment when Nadia Comaneci graced the inaugural edition of the American Cup at Madison Square Garden in Manhattan. This tournament constituted a watershed moment in her career, demonstrating her outstanding abilities and laying the groundwork for what would become a famous career. During the preliminary round of the American Cup, Nadia executed her vault with such accuracy that the judges gave her a remarkable perfect score of 10. A perfect 10 indicated that her routine was flawless, with no errors or deductions. This was a tremendous performance for the 14-year-old Romanian gymnast, who was already well known for her athletic prowess. Nadia Comaneci continued to impress the audience with her floor exercise routine during the all-around competition final. She scored another perfect score of 10, confirming her dominance in the tournament and guaranteeing her victory in the all-around category. The world was watching a gymnastics prodigy in action. Nadia Comaneci and American gymnast Bart Connor met by chance at this important tournament in Madison Square Garden. Nadia met Bart for the first time when she was 14, and they had no idea that this experience would be so essential in their lives. Bart Connor, who was turning 18 at the time, clearly remembered this meeting. However, in her memoirs, Nadia stated that she needed to be reminded of this interaction later in life, emphasizing the rapid nature of her gymnastics career. Nadia Comaneci and Bart Connor won the American Cup, receiving silver cups for their exceptional performances. The two champions were photographed together, capturing a moment in time that would later become iconic of their relationship in the world of gymnastics. As luck would have it, a few months after their meeting at the American Cup, Nadia and Bart found themselves on the main stage of the 1976 Summer Olympics. This Olympic Games would be a watershed point in Nadia Comaneci's career as she demonstrated unsurpassed excellence, leaving an unforgettable impact on the history of gymnastics. While Nadia reached new heights and dominated the 1976 Summer Olympics, Bart Connor had a very modest part in the event. Connor reflected on those days, saying, Nobody knew me, and Comaneci certainly didn't pay attention to me. Despite being a minor player in the Olympic spotlight, Bart Connor's career would take unexpected turns, eventually propelling him to prominence in the world of gymnastics. The American Cup, the meeting in Madison Square Garden, and the joint triumph photo were only the beginning of Nadia Comaneci and Bart Connor's connected stories. They had no idea that their paths would meet again, resulting in a story that extended beyond the gymnastics mat. Nadia Comaneci's victory at the 1976 Summer Olympics cemented her legacy as a gymnastics superstar, and her perfect tens became synonymous with athletic perfection. Nadia's theme. After the 1976 Olympics, something amazing happened in Nadia Comaneci's world. A song became synonymous with her name. This charming melody known as Nadia's theme found its way into the hearts of many, forging a musical bond with the gymnastics prodigy. Originally, Nadia's theme was not composed for Nadia. It began as Cotton's Dream, part of the musical theme for the 1971 film Bless the Beasts and Children. The tune took on a life of its own when it was used as the title theme for the American soap series The Young and the Restless. Who knew that this instrumental work would eventually find a new home in the world of gymnastics? The merging of Nadia Comaneci and Nadia's theme began with Robert Riger, who cleverly combined the melody with slow-motion footage of Nadia's performances on ABC's Wide World of Sports. This creative partnership increased the emotional impact of Nadia's routines, transforming them into artistic masterpieces on television. The melody's journey did not end there. In the autumn of 1976, Nadia's theme rose to even greater heights, becoming a top 10 single. Inspired by Nadia's grace and achievements, 
composers Barry Dvorzan and Perry Botkin Jr. renamed the tune Nadia's Theme in her honor. It was a musical tribute to the gymnast who captivated the globe with her unrivaled performances. Interestingly, despite the association with her name, Nadia Comaneci never performed Nadia's theme in her gymnastics routines. Her floor exercise, a stunning demonstration of agility and technique, was backed by a mix of various songs. Her floor routine was set to the vibrant melodies of Yes Sir, That's My Baby and Jump in the Line, which had been arranged for piano. So, while Nadia's theme became a symbol of her journey in the eyes of the world, it maintained a unique melody from the sounds that rang through the gymnastics arena throughout her shows. The charm of Nadia's theme resided not in its direct relationship to her routines, but in its ability to capture the essence of those unforgettable moments on the gymnastics mat. Change in Physique In 1977, Nadia Komenetsi defended her European all-around title at the championship competition. However, as the gymnasts demonstrated their abilities, doubts arose concerning the score. Romania's leader, Ceausescu, disliked the uncertainty. He ordered all Romanian gymnasts, including Nadia, to return home. It was a perplexing decision that sparked debate. Despite the confusion and disagreements over scoring, the Romanian team obeyed Ceausescu's orders and withdrew from the competition during the event finals. The gymnasts left behind the applause and competition, creating a buzz that reverberated throughout the gymnastics community. Nadia Comaneci's gymnastics career changed following the 1977 European Championships. The Romanian Gymnastics Federation made a shocking decision to remove Nadia from her long-standing coach, the Corolius. Instead, they sent her to Bucharest on August 23rd to practice in the sports complex. This shift had a negative impact on Nadia. The transition presented obstacles. Nadia's body changed as she grew older, making it difficult to maintain her gymnastic skills. It was a difficult moment for her. Nadia was dissatisfied with her physical problems and the alterations to her training schedule. In reality, she lost the will to live. During this tough time, Nadia Comaneci was in a dire predicament. She attempted suicide, highlighting the intense emotional upheaval she was feeling. It was a call for help, a reminder that despite the sparkle and glamour, the gymnastics world can be difficult for even the greatest stars. Despite the difficulties, Nadia found the courage to continue her quest. In 1978, she attended the World Championships in Strasbourg. The Nadia that took the gymnastics stage differed from the one we saw at the 1976 Olympics. She had the advantage of being seven inches taller and heavier. The changes in her body and the difficulties she endured were obvious. A fall from the uneven bars resulted in a fourth-place finish in the all-around competition, trailing Soviet gymnasts Elena Mukina, Nelly Kim, and Natalia Shaposhnikova. It was a departure from her past successes, a reminder that even the most successful gymnasts experience disappointments. Despite the hurdles, Nadia Comaneci did not leave the 1978 World Championships empty-handed. She won the world title on the balance beam, demonstrating her resilience and determination. She also won a silver medal on the vault, demonstrating that even in the midst of adversity, she could shine in certain aspects of the competition, hospitalized. After the 1978 World Championships, she was finally allowed to return to Deva and Corolius's gymnastics school. This comeback marked a watershed event in her career, reuniting her with the mentors who had been key to her early success. In 1979, Nadia Comaneci continued to make history in gymnastics. She achieved a record feat by winning her third consecutive European all-around title. This accomplishment made her the first gymnast, male or female, to earn a remarkable three-peat. The gymnastics world applauded her perseverance and skill as she set new marks and redefined the definition of excellence. Later that year, at the World Championships in Fort Worth, Nadia stole the show again. Following the necessary competition, she led the field, showcasing her ability and competitive spirit. However, fate had other plans. Nadia had a setback when she was hospitalized before the optional portion of the team competition. What is the reason? 
Her metal grip buckle caused a wound on her wrist, resulting in blood poisoning. Despite her serious condition and against physicians' instructions, Nadia Comaneci made a heroic decision. She left the hospital to compete on the balance beam, proving her unwavering dedication to her team. She scored a 9.95 for her outstanding performance, which helped Romania secure first place. It was a moment of triumph that highlighted Nadia's persistence and bravery in the face of adversity. However, the war was not over. Following her remarkable performance, Nadia was forced to confront the implications of her decision. She spent many days recuperating at All Saints Hospital, where she received medical attention for an infected hand that had developed an abscess. This little surgical procedure served as a reminder of the sacrifices and challenges that often accompany aiming for greatness in gymnastics. Nadia Comaneci's life after 1978 was a roller coaster of emotions, disappointments, and achievements. Her return to Deva and the Karoli Academy symbolized a reconnecting with the source of her success. Her record third consecutive European all-around title solidified her status as a trailblazer in the sport. The World Championships in Fort Worth marked a new chapter in her life, showcasing not only her gymnastic skill, but also her resilience in the face of unexpected circumstances. The hospitalization and subsequent recovery period illustrated the physical demands that professional gymnastics could place on an athlete. Nadia's willingness to battle despite the odds displayed not only her ability on the mat, but also the steadfast mentality that defined her career, walking in lion's den. In 1980, Nadia Komanetsi appeared on the great stage of the Summer Olympics in Moscow. She was selected to represent Romania in her third Olympic appearance. However, these Olympics were unique in that they were marked by political conflicts and decisions that would influence the direction of the Games. The Soviet invasion of Afghanistan cast a shadow over the 1980 Summer Olympics. In response, President Jimmy Carter announced that the United States would boycott the Games and several other countries followed suit for a variety of reasons. For Nadia Comaneci and many other competitors, it meant navigating a distinct and politically charged Olympic experience. Nadia said that the Romanian government touted the 1980 Olympics as the first all-communist games. However, as she described in her biography, visiting Moscow felt like entering the mouth of a lion's den. It was the Russians' home territory. Despite the political issues, Nadia Comaneci attended the tournament, eager to demonstrate her abilities on the gymnastics floor. Nadia was extremely successful in Moscow. She won two gold medals, one for her perfect performance on the balancing beam and another for her fascinating floor routine. The floor exercise triumph was especially memorable since she tied with Soviet gymnast Nellie Kim, a familiar competitor from the 1976 Montreal Olympics and earlier competitions. In addition to these gold medals, Nadia received two silver medals, one for team all-around and one for individual all-around. However, the 1980 Olympics were not without controversy. Questions were raised concerning the scoring in the all-around and floor exercise competitions. Bela Karoli, Nadia's coach, stood up and argued that she had been unfairly scored. These rallies were not held behind closed doors, Rather, they were broadcast live on television, grabbing the attention of audiences all over the world. Nadia's memoir suggests that the Romanian government was dissatisfied with Karoli's public demonstrations. They believed he had embarrassed them, which resulted in serious consequences for the coach. Bella Karoli's life became extremely difficult from that point forward, serving as a sharp reminder of the political complexities that can intersect with the world of athletics. Escape from Communist Romania Nadia Comaneci's life changed dramatically when her gymnastics career ended. The authorities imposed limitations on her, preventing her from leaving Romania, except for a few excursions to Moscow and Cuba. Despite her international notoriety and celebrity, Nadia found herself confined to her home country. Nadia had been considering retiring for several years, but the ceremonial ceremony took place in Bucharest in 1984. The chairman of the International Olympic Committee attended the occasion, which held significance. Nadia had no idea that the end of her gymnastics career would usher in a new era of challenges and limits. In her memoir, Nadia Comaneci described the hard reality she faced after retirement. 
Life became gloomy as Romania's government tightened its grip. Except in a few cases, she was not permitted to travel freely. For someone who had previously soared to tremendous heights on the gymnastics mat, this constraint felt in stark contrast to the freedom that an average Romanian could enjoy. Nadia's financial circumstances also deteriorated. The tiny extra cash that had helped her family's situation was no longer available. She felt insulted as she observed people around her enjoying the option to go, which she was denied. The gymnastics prodigy, who had once charmed the globe, now felt the weight of constraint and limitation. The situation became considerably more difficult when her coach, Bella Caroli, defected. His decision shone a spotlight on Nadia's life, heightening the scrutiny she faced. In her own words, she began to feel imprisoned. The freedoms she had previously taken for granted were now distant memories, replaced by a sense of observation and control. As the years passed, a watershed moment approached, the night of November 27, 1989, only weeks before the Romanian Revolution. Nadia Comaneci made a brave move. She defected. She and a group of other Romanians crossed the Hungary-Romania border near Senad. Their guide was Constantin Panait, a Romanian who had previously defected and later become an American citizen. Their voyage was difficult, primarily on foot and under cover of darkness. They traveled via Hungary and Austria before boarding a flight to the United States. The defection was a watershed moment in Nadia's life. It was a brave decision to break free from the restrictions placed on her. The move to the United States represented not just a physical escape, but also a search for freedom, a desire to live a life free of the constraints of her past. Nadia Comaneci's defection was more than a personal achievement. It exemplified the spirit of change that swept over Romania during the revolution. It was a proclamation of independence, a brave move towards a fresh start. As she stepped onto American soil, Nadia brought with her the perseverance that distinguished her gymnastics career, which she is now channeling into a life full of new opportunities. The path from imprisonment to freedom was a monument to a gymnastics legend's unwavering spirit, telling the world that even after the cheers on the mat fade, the pursuit of freedom and happiness is an ongoing quest. Robbed. After fleeing Romania, Comaneci encountered a new type of incarceration. Constantin Panait, the guy who helped her defect to the West, imprisoned her for three months. In her first in-depth interview regarding her connection with Panait, Comaneci admitted to stealing $150,000 from her post-defection performances in the United States. She stressed that she had no feelings of love for Panait, a married father of four, and that she had joined him merely to help him escape Romania. Panait monitored her every step and threatened to return her to Romania if she did not follow his orders. Despite suffering at the hands of Panait, Comaneci chose not to take legal action against him. She explained that she had no one else to turn to in the United States or Canada and no way of contacting her previous coach, Bella Caroli. Alexandru Stefu, now her manager, approached Panait and obtained a lucrative contract for Comaneci, granting her independence. Three days after they arrived in Montreal, Panait left with the money to see a friend of Caroli. Marriage. Nadia Comaneci moved to Oklahoma from Romania in 1991, beginning a new chapter in her life. Her goal was to help her buddy and fellow Olympic gold medalist Bart Connor with his gymnastics school. During this time, she resided with Paul Ziert's family and later hired him as her manager. She had no idea that her decision would have such a big impact on her personal life. Nadia and Bart, who were initially just friends, established a close relationship. It took four years for their friendship to evolve into something more, and they got engaged. Their transition from friendship to engagement was gradual, characterized by common interests and mutual respect. Since 1994, the Nadia Comaneci International Invitational has provided a stage for gymnasts ranging from USAG Level 4 to Level 10. This competition, organized by Nadia herself, shows not only young gymnasts' talent, but also draws international elite competitors. Notable gymnasts, such as Rebecca Andrade, have graced this event since the mid-2000, bringing prestige to the sport. Nadia returned to Romania in 1996 to marry Bart Connor. 
This historic event occurred in Bucharest following the fall of the communist regime, signaling the emergence of a capitalist Romania. The government hailed Nadia as a national hero and their wedding was televised live across the country. The reception was held at the former presidential palace, which represented a blend of history, celebration, and personal joy. In addition to making news in the world of gymnastics, the couple had a special appearance on the season three finale of Touched by an Angel on May 1997. In a beautiful scene, Nadia and Bart did a brief floor workout as part of a montage, demonstrating their ongoing bond with the sport that brought them together. Nadia Comaneci took another crucial step in 2001 when she became a naturalized U.S. citizen while retaining her Romanian citizenship. This dual citizenship symbolized the intersection of her past and present, symbolizing the various stages of her life. Dylan, the couple's son, was born in 2006, expanding the family. Parenthood offered additional joys and obligations, broadening Nadia and Bart's lives. Their transition from gymnastics legends to parents exemplified the transformational power of life beyond the mat. Nadia Comaneci's post-gymnastics journey is one of reinvention, love, and giving back to the sport that defined her childhood. She continues to be involved in the gymnastics community by coaching and organizing contests, awards. She made history in 2012 when she spoke at the annual Independence Day naturalization ceremony at Monticello on July 4th. This was the first time an athlete had been invited to speak at the ceremony, emphasizing Comaneci's status as a symbol of inspiration and accomplishment. In October 2017, a portion of Montreal's Olympic Park was dedicated and renamed Place Nadia Comaneci to honor her efforts. This recognition in the city that witnessed her victories is a permanent homage to her legacy. 1976 was a particularly memorable year for Comaneci since she received several notable awards. She received the title of Hero of Socialist Labor in recognition of her accomplishments and achievements in Romania's socialist state. The Associated Press Athlete of the Year Award cemented her reputation as a standout athlete in the worldwide sporting scene. Comaneci's worldwide success was recognized with the BBC Overseas Sports Personality of the Year Award in 1976. This recognition extended beyond gymnastics, establishing her as a sports star with international appeal. In 1983, Comaneci was awarded the Olympic Order, a prestigious honor that recognizes persons who have made major contributions to the Olympic movement. This accolade acknowledged her long-term impact on the sports world. In 1998, Comaneci received the Marca Leyenda Award, recognizing her as a legendary figure in sports. In the same year, she received the Flo Hyman Award, which recognized her not just as an athlete, but also as a person who contributes to the larger sports community. Comaneci was awarded the Olympic Order again in 2004, underlining her place as an iconic figure in the Olympic movement. Her contributions were not confined to sports, but also to the larger social milieu. In 2016, the Carnegie Corporation of New York named Nadia Comaneci a great immigrant honoree. This honor recognizes her experience as an immigrant and the good impact she has made on American culture. Comaneci achieved global attention in 2017 when she was named one of the BBC's 100 Women of the Year. This recognition reflects her importance not only in sports, but also as a source of inspiration and empowerment for women all across the world. Comaneci's most recent honor in 2021, the Order of the Star of Romania Grand Office, secures her place in Romanian history. This distinguished award recognizes her extraordinary efforts and effect, emphasizing her importance on a national and worldwide level. We hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.